Hi everyone, it's Hannah from Premier Plus. You might have noticed that I've had all of my hair chopped off. Um, I've been fundraising for the Little Princess charity alongside donating my hair, so um, I'm feeling a lot lighter. Uh, today I wanted to mention something that my colleague and I have been discussing recently regarding uh, guaranteed insurability options within income protection policies. Having looked at a few policy summaries today, it seems that most providers look to impose a three to six month window where guaranteed insurability options are brought to their attention so that they can action an increase. Specifically, in this case, it was a salary increase, um, and usually that is without having to undergo any medical underwriting. This caused an issue because um, one of our recent clients, off the back of an annual review, had told us that they needed to increase their cover. But because their salary increase had taken place uh, more than three months ago, their insurer couldn't exercise the GIO option. This meant that the client would need a whole new policy, risking loss of any original features and having to go through full medical underwriting. And the increase was only £100 per month um, of their benefit. My suggestion was that when we're putting an IP policy in place, instead of setting an annual review or um, you know reviews every two years uh, from the date of the policy being put in force, instead maybe we should ask the client when they normally get their pay increases. We can then complete our reviews around that so that we can then exercise GIO options as and when they come about. Uh -huh.